From the preset factory comes the matte collection, the essential fade and matte presets for Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw. Faded shadows, dull whites and subtle grains help to create a softer, nostalgic look. These presets are ideal for wedding, lifestyle or fashion photography. So I'm going to start in Lightroom. If you haven't already installed the matte collection presets, go into the link in the description below which will take you through to the guides on how to put these presets into Lightroom ready to use. So I'm going to start by clicking on my image and going into the develop tab. Now you'll see the presets over here on the left hand side. We've got various different presets, matte 1, matte 2, matte 3, all the way up to matte 11. And you'll notice that some of these presets have got a plus next to them, which I'll get to in just a moment. The presets are all characterised by having a subtle colour correction to the image and then fading the shadows and fading the highlights. This is done by using the tone curve in the RGB channel. A great way to get the most out of these presets is to shoot in a picture profile with a fairly high contrast which will allow the fading in the tone curve to really work its magic. As you can see the shadows have been lifted up from black to give this nice faded look that we're seeing in analog film. The same is true for the whites that have been pulled down to add a matting effect. The body of the colour correction is going on in the red, green and blue channels. Changes to the hue, saturation and luminance sliders as well as adding subtle grains are what help to shape these presets. Now you'll see if I click on matte 1 we get our base preset. Now matte one also has a plus next to it and what this means is a more intense version of that preset. So the fading is harsher in the shadows and in the highlight areas. You'll notice that matte nine has a rough and a soft version and this is characterized by matte nine rough having a rougher, harsher feel to it. Whereas matte nine soft has a softer overall tone to the image. If you want to add more fade to a particular image, you can apply the preset Go over to the RGB channel tone curve and pull up the furthest point on the left hand side or pull down the furthest point on the right hand side to create a more intense matted feel to your image. Matte 6, matte 7 and matte 8 are black and white presets with a hint of colour. So in matte 6 we've got a slightly red tone to the image, matte 7 a slightly green tone and matte 8 a slightly blue colder feel. Remember, these presets can be used with the factory toolbox, which is a completely free set of presets from the preset factory. The factory toolbox can be downloaded by going to thepresetfactory.com, hitting subscribe, and you'll be subscribed to our newsletter, and you'll get an email link where you can download the presets. From here, you can do various things like add more contrast, boost up the shadows, and add heavier grain. Remember, if you've got any questions about the matte collection or any of the other preset collections available from the preset factory, just contact us, thepresetfactory.com forward slash contact. Welcome to the matte collection.